I became a sister because I felt a deeper call to live life in um, a more radical way in my faith, I would say, uh, to live it more deeply, uh, and definitely to live in community. I am Eileen, and I am called. We're all called to be lovers, you know, and so there's a way that my lifestyle, because it's, it's a radical expression of that, has said, no, I won't live it in this way. There's a lot of different ways to live it. And the call is, is challenging at times. I'm not called to be with someone who, um, who I know loves me exclusively. While I was in discernment, I was in a very serious relationship with the only man that I could envision living the rest of my life with. He said one time, you know, you, you want to be a sister, don't you? So we chose to, to kind of move into different areas of life and I chose, that's when I really started to, um, you know, get in contact with communities and to talk with women religious um, and, and to go to a deeper level of religious life discernment. It was the way that they were living their call to love in a more radical nature, I think, that that kind of drew me in into um, at least exploring what that was about. And the idea of um, taking a vow of celibacy and that freeing you to love more deeply, um, that, that attracted me. It's, it's a paradox, but it attracted me and I wanted to explore it. I wasn't sure that I could do it. You know, that was my big question when I was, when I was entering it. Can I live a life of celibacy? Can I live without having one lifelong partner to create a life together with and to support each other and to grow each other in a sense? I remember being in church one day and I was kind of sitting in the back and there was a family in front of me and there were like three or four kids, various ages from eight to four, and the father just put his arm around the mother in the middle of church. And I remember being in the back and witnessing that and saying, I have given that up. I won't have that. And, and there's, there's, um, there's a tenderness in there for that because it's such a beautiful form of love. It's a beautiful form of love. Um, and I'm called to love in different ways than that. You know, when I was seriously discerning this. I was in my middle to late 20s, where developmentally, I mean, sexual energy and passion was kind of at its height. In the beginning, it was scary, because there's this idea that if I'm going to live a celibate life, then, you know, God, if you can take care of those feelings so that I don't have to deal with them, that would be really nice. Now, when I have them, um, like I said, I'm grateful for them because when you feel when you feel electrified like that, when you feel passionate, it's a beautiful feeling. What has happened to me is that when I've had those feelings, they have caused me to go to a deeper sense of reflection. Some of the healthy celibates who have really made incredible influences on the world through their capacity to love in a radical way that actually can change the world. And that's the message of Jesus.